is it that time already? Here, come on in. It's done. If it wasn't for the likes of YouTube, I'd have Tuberty's thrown by now. I mean, it wasn't like as if I meant to interview McAleese with my zipper undone. Even if the Irish public want to ignore me, they'll find it impossible. But the subject matter we have here, we're talking Oscar. Sundance, minimal. What do you guys want to talk about? Well, um, we're making a documentary about what it's like to work in the adult movie industry. Uh, firstly, I'm an erotic model. And secondly, why is he filming? It's a documentary. Any interview that takes place between us will have to be filmed. Oh, so what's my cut? <laughs> what? Your cut? Like the porn industry, like to be honest with you, maybe a lot of things, but it's fucking decent, honest work. Mm. Would you take a baseball bat up the ass for a thousand quid? Well, uh, here at Leprahorn Productions, we specialise in all things Irish. Uh, today we're trying to finish the final scene of Angela's Gashes. Yeah, her rectum prolapsed. Basically, uh, after her scene, you know, her ass fell out. Well, like, yeah. a, like a pink cloud, you know, after a nuke. <sighs> well, originally, I tried to just stay as far away from her as possible. But it was an orgy scene, so we ended up next to each other, and she sat on my face. So, I had no choice but to scream the set down. How did the director take that? Well, he accused me of being totally unprofessional. So, to prove my point, I put my fingers right under his nose and he threw up. Violently. Do me to do a bit of role playing with him. So I brought along your usual, your school teacher, librarian, nurse outfits, that kind of thing. But he had something else in mind. And? He brought along his son's teenage mutant hero turtle outfit for me. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit daunting, like, have you seen your man Marco on tape? Uh, no. Oh, jeez, man, he's got a fucking missile on him, like, he's like a fucking tripod, like, so that was a bit fucking daunting. Plus the fact, like, you know, it was my first scene and I didn't want to be fucking in there and then have this big fucking hairy ball sack, like, slapping off my face, like, so oh. I was a bit fucking nervous, to be honest with you. What if my dad were to see the footage from today? I'm sure by the time you're done editing it, I'll be made out to look like some sort of deviant slut. Amber, look, all we've done is follow you around like you asked. <sighs> See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. You're manipulating things here. You're always making me out to look like the bad guy. Amber, there are no bad guys! So, how do your family take your career choice in the porn industry? Well, they're happy as long as I'm happy, you know what I mean? Like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Generally, I actually take the piss out of it, you know? Like, if it's raining outside, my man needs to put a wash out. My dad will just shout over, hey, Don't worry about it, just hang the towels on Anthony there. <laughs> that's nice to have a supportive relationship. Yeah, it's grand, yeah. What do you want, you little shit? If I give you a fiver, will you show us your flossy? Your brother says you shave it. Get out of here! Come on. Up, Mark. Come on. Up. Come on. Come on, up, Mark. <coughs> yeah. Relax. Now put out your hands. Now, here. Give me your hands. Now. Here, Mark. How does that feel? Good. Um, yeah, nice. Squeeze. It's all that experience. So in five years' time, we're going to see Mark here front of the Late Late Show. Do mean? it there. Do it to the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, Loy from RTE. Ah, no, no, no. Go on, I wouldn't want to jinx it. Go on, give it a shot. Go on. Will I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, do it, do it, do it. I'll stand back. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Late Late Show. And tonight we have. Um... Oh, yeah, you could be on my show. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, do the yeah. first one, yeah. Um, Pirate Pete, the famous porn star. I think we'll leave it there, yeah?